you know there are big changes in Idaho when it comes to taxes this year? It's amazing how many of the states here have changes. It's like all of them. And Idaho's a big one. Idaho, I got to give them credit. They made things easier. They created a flat tax of 5.8%. Idaho, not Iowa, Idaho. So for Idaho, we're going to go through how you do the rates. It made things a lot easier. I was actually, uh, I was able to shrink the file a little bit and get rid of some columns because last year they had something much more com complicated. They had a, a layered progressive system and they are apparently getting rid of it according to all searches and all multiple reliable sources. And this uh, document here, 1361, is apparently confirming this. So if you're in Idaho and you're single, you're going to be able to deduct $2,500 from your pay before you have to pay that 5.8% on the rest. If you're married, it's $5,000. You can take off that rest at 5%. So no, no more of these, no more anything. The only thing you need to fill out is what your Idaho filing status is. Single, Idaho single or Idaho married, which would be right here, okay? You would choose that. And um, once you do that, you just, I mean, it was, it was super easy. Basically, I got the formula into one column completely. You're just gonna annualize the wages and you're gonna deduct 5,000 if they're married or 2,500 if they're single and times the rest by 0 0.058 right here. That is 0 0.058 for 5.8%. And that's it. And that is going to cover everything. So basically pay stub is accurate and Idaho now has become a flat tax state. And there you go. I mean, you see that the, the effective rate on the wages will just be minus the exemption essentially. So. It's almost 5.66% because the exemption of $5,000 figures in with this married status. So there you go. Idaho, really easy, but significant changes as things have migrated from the progressive system. You can see that last year's progressive system maxed out at six. So you're getting like a two tenths of a percent reduction at the higher wages, which analyzed that was over 21,000, I think. Let's see here. I think they got rid of the child tax credit too. We'll find out if there's more legislation and they publish and they've done something else with um, with any child credits or anything, then we'll add them back in. But it looks like they're just really making things easy with flat tax here. Um, so yeah, all right, Idaho's updated. And here's the annualized period right here. So it was more than 21,261 is what it was at 6%. So if you're making more than that, you, you will see overall a reduction in your rate by that two tenths of a percent. However, the first 20,000 uh, is actually kind of effectively getting taxed more based on what I saw previously because he's, he's, these rates are all below 5.8. So the first 21,261, basically that's what a flat tax does is it, it grabs that 5.8% of everything. So on smaller wage pay, you're going to see that more impactfully as coming out of your paycheck in Idaho. All right. Payroll is easy. We're making it so. See you. Uh...